We really love using these threaded pipe inserts in builds because they allow you to do some really cool stuff. You can add adjustable feet to your builds, you can join pieces of conduit together. They have all kinds of awesome possibilities that we've mentioned a lot on the channel, but they can be kind of challenging to put into the end of conduit, which is why we showcased this specialty tool a while back. It's basically made so you put the insert on the end of it here, and then you hammer this top piece, and eventually this silver piece will catch the end of the conduit, and that's how you know that it's in there straight. And it's made for bike forks, but it worked well for conduit. We had to adapt it a little bit, but it's actually kind of expensive. It's like 25 bucks for one. And if you're you know, just putting one insert in or just a couple, it may not be worth it. Today I'm gonna show you how you can make a DIY version of it using just some scrap materials. So basically what I've done here is just got a 3816 bolt. It's about an inch and a half in length. And you wanna make sure that the threads go from the head of the bolt to the end. You know, sometimes you'll get a longer bolt and it'll have a smooth spacer between the threads and the head. But you want it to be a piece of all thread with a head on the end. And we're basically just gonna recreate this tool. So this is gonna be the part that we're hitting. And then similar to the silver piece on that tool that catches on the conduit, we're gonna be using a lip insert in this orientation. And this is gonna catch on the end of the conduit and basically do the same thing that that silver piece on the specialty tool was doing. So you're just gonna thread this all the way until it is touching the head of the bolt and the lip, you want that to be facing the threads going straight down. And then you're gonna take the insert that you wanna put in. You can use this with either uh, the lift version or the no lift version, but I think it's really useful and most useful for the no lift version because it'll keep it straight in the pipe because the lip is gonna catch on the conduit. But you're just gonna thread that on. You wanna make sure uh, the star nuts are pointing up and you're just gonna thread that on. You wanna make sure to leave a little bit of a gap between the two inserts. If you have a nut or something you wanna put in there as a spacer, that's totally fine. And that's because the inside of the pipe, once the threaded insert is in there, you'll see there's a little bit of a space in there. So we're just accommodating for that. But we've basically recreated this tool in terms of we've got a piece to hit and we've got a lip that's gonna catch on the end of the pipe. Now the last thing that makes this tool really useful is this outer sleeve that kind of guides the whole tool when you're hitting it in and kind of keeps it from bouncing all over the place and just makes it really easy. And we're gonna recreate that aspect of the tool using just some cheap PEX tubing. This is one inch PEX, and normally we use this to adapt the one inch connectors to three quarter inch EMT conduit. But in this scenario, we've just put it on the end of the three quarter inch pipe, just like that. Then I've got a scrap piece of one inch EMT. We're just gonna slide that over top of the three quarter inch until it rests on the shim here. And then we're just gonna put in this bolt and the inserts inside of the one inch conduit. And now that's creating basically an outer sleeve that's gonna guide it in. And then we just have to hammer it until the insert is all the way inside the pipe. And once you get it started, you can take the outer sleeve off And you just keep hitting until the lip catches on the end of the pipe. And then all you gotta do is take out the bolt and the insert. If it's pretty tight, you might have to use a you know, wrench or a tool to get it out. But you just take it loose and then eventually you can unthread it. And just like that, you've got the insert in and you didn't have to use a $25 tool. We just used scrap materials. It's in there, it's straight, so you can easily thread something into it and it'll work great for your projects. Hope you guys like that trick, and hopefully you can save some money and put some inserts in and do some cool stuff in your builds. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next one.